Hey guys, what's going on uh, today? I think we're just gonna do something really simple. Um, I just finished washing my hair, so it is uh, got some serious shrinkage going on here. <laughs> today I wanted to do a very simple look um, and using, sorry, <laughs> using some of the products that I absolutely love by City Beauty. So you guys know I love City Beauty. Probably my most beloved product from them would have to be the City Lips. I love their City Lips. I use them all the time, day, night, all the time. But um, uh, earlier today, I went ahead, I washed with the um, youth rejuvenating cleanser I love this cleanser it is so nice I love it I reviewed this before I really do like this cleanser um, but we're gonna start out um, with the dude blue defense hydro gel <laughs> and um, this one is lovely I've been using this one as of lately for my moisturizer look at that nice right comes with this cute little gold applicator. I'm just gonna take some, just put it, just dab it around. So I'm nicely moisturized before we get started on this place. But I've already cleansed, I've already uh, did my serums. I just needed to do my moisturizer. Okay guys, so the Blue Defense Hydro Gel is a unique gel texture which infuses the skin with intense hydration by both attracting and retaining moisture. Uh, the formula helps energize tired looking skin while helping protect against damaging blue light. That blue light is something, we know that. Um, in addition, it improves the look of dark spots, wrinkles, and dullness. Okay, next, I've been using the Redensifying Brow Serum. I really like this product as well. And you know, it's um, just over time, I have noticed that my um, brows are not as sparse, which is nice. And I just kind of, I just brush them, you know, do you just brush it on in an upward motion? and let it dry but there's that not as sparse yes i need to get my brows done of course my favorite go-to's the under eye recovery and the eye revive firming serum just a dab of do ya Lastly, I'm gonna do the Ultra Firming Dry Oil. Now this one I put on my neck area. Okay guys, this is an Ultra Firming Dry Oil. It is non-greasy and it deeply hydrates um, that under the chin or neck area because a lot of us have that crepey skin. So this really has helped me as far as just the appearance of a healthier, more firm look under my neck. Okay, I gotta say I was excited about using this because I do have issues with those creases in my forehead and a little bit of the crow's feet around the eyes. So this line blurring wrinkle filler was definitely something I wanted to give a try. As you can see, it is a nice creamy consistency. You only need a little bit, but it does have ingredients that support and plump the skin from the inside out. So you're supposed to get that more smoother look around those areas. I have those deep set wrinkles in my forehead. I mean, they're not really pronounced, um, but once I put makeup on and you know, afterwards it kind of settles into those little lines, you can really see, you know, that line <laughs> you know a deep set wrinkle in my forehead 
So I figured I would give this a shot just to kind of see um, how it works for me. And um, you know, we'll just kind of go from there. It says just dab it in the crease and then allow it to dry. So it's a cute little device. You just take it and you pump it up from here. Product comes out there. And it just says take a small amount and you just go where you have those fine lines and wrinkles. So I'm gonna go on my forehead, see if I can get those to just kind of, you know, hide them a little bit. <laughs> and I'm really starting to see those little You know, the ones around the eyes. So I'm gonna press it in there. Okay, so I just did one side of my face um, using NW43. This is the Studio Finish Concealer. And it's a good color corrector for my complexion. So I just put a little bit here on my hand and I'm just gonna, you know, just dab it with a little dense brush. And just whatever areas that are a little dark for me, I just kind of go in and, you know, take care of that. So you can kind of see where it just kind of, it, it starts to, you know, to lighten up. So. Go in here, and my eyes, I've already done this side, so we're gonna go in and do this one. Not anything too heavy. And then what I did is the area where I put the, the line blurring, uh, wrinkle filler. I'm just going to tap over those areas very lightly. So here. And then I'll put that here. So I'm just going to lightly go over those areas. And then blend out around the edges. That's it. So that's it for our concealer or our correcting part. A little bit of water. Bam. Okay. And then, um, I really like these concealers. They're really nice. Um, mine are a little old, but, um, and they may even have new packaging now, but, it's the Born This Way. And I have um, Chai and Caramel. Those are the two colors that I have. Just take a little bit of that and just go in the corner on each side. You know, just wherever I need to you know, kind of place that. And it's usually right down in there where you know, have those little indentions. And then I'll take some right here. Come down a little bit, just in that area, here and here. And I have another little nicely dense packed brush, but slanted, but it's nice and dense and you can get in that little area. But first I'm gonna let that, you know, just kind of dry. And I'll go ahead and start working on my brows. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just blend that under eye out.
deep um, this is a mineralized skin finish powder and it's a pressed powder I'm just gonna go in and just press that uh, along the edge Okay, and I'm gonna use the Beyond Mascara by Shitty Beauty. Um, I really like this mascara. It's actually very nice. Um, I'll show you guys. Nice, you know, it's, um, it seems to be a little thinner here on the tip, but then it dips in, gives you that curve, and then it's fatter on the outside. But the mascara itself is uh, really, um, it's not cakey, it doesn't dry out, it leaves your lashes um, actually very soft, which I was really surprised because I was expecting for them to be, you know, kind of dry and cakey after a while, but they weren't. So we're just going to do just a little bit of my sugar, just a little bit. Got to use a little bit of my Lani. That's just a little bit of, you know, that little gold um, highlight to it. So I'm just going to just tap that there. And then tap some right there on top of my nose.
guys. So y'all know I went in and <laughs> tried to do something with the hair. But to top it off, I am going to use my City Beauty Lips. This is City Lips. This is their shade. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, I can't see. This is San Diego. I love this gloss. It is so nice. It has like, a, I don't know if you're picking that up, but you can see like a rosy color, little bits of peach or orange, but it's, it's really, really pretty. So we're gonna use that today. And I think also with having that um, orange or peachy tone, it kind of helps correct the tone in my lips because you know, I'm a little darker around the edge. So it really kind of, uh, it kind of corrects that darkness. And that's what I love about that. So this is the completed look. And I will list everything that I used in this video in the description box. Used all of my City Beauty products. I really am enjoying all of these products. And just so you guys know, they are having a site-wide sale and all of their products are on sale for Black Friday. You know, everybody's doing this Black Friday before Black Friday. So City Beauty is giving 40% off site-wide and that's going on right now until the 21st. So you guys can head over there Check out some products that maybe you have been looking at and like, you know, really want to try it. You get 40% off. I will leave my affiliate link in the description box. And you know that helps you, girl. And I greatly appreciate y'all for doing so. But anyhow, um, thank you guys so much for sticking around, seeing what goes on here. <laughs> but we just had just a, just a very simple look and my hair, like I told you, I just washed it this morning. Um, did a little bit, it's something a little different. I decided to, instead of twisting it and letting it dry and all this stuff, I decided to diffuse it. So it's my little version of a wash and go. So <laughs> tell me what y'all think in the description box. So it's, um, you know, hadn't stretched out yet, so it's still, you know, nice and shrunken, but it feels really good and really like it. Really good way to, you know, get some definition, because you know, I don't really have a lot of definition in my hair when I do, when I wash it. It's just like, I gotta twist it before I get anything, but it did pretty good. Yeah, I still had to twist the front of it because it's just laying like that. <laughs> but anyhow, you guys take care, and if I don't see you all before Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving to you all. I love you guys, love you guys. See you later. See you next time.